ridiculous. <laughs> and that was funny. I was watching you sway and dance in the background. I doing it all. <clears throat> you were. All. <clears throat> well, it is midday, midweek, and that means you are right here with Get Haunted, Sarah and Rob. And I, you know, I am actually still not over the hump. We can hell. We can hell. We can tell. <laughs> All from hell. <laughs> yeah, you don't sound a hundred percent, but you sound about ninety-one percent. Yeah, it's like the craziest thing. I just can't. It's this. It's got to be the weather. It's got to be this up and down. It's snowing. It's seventy. It's rainy. Who knows what it is? But what we do know is we are here, and that is because each and every one of you, and we are so excited. It's our favorite time of the week. But before we get started, chit chatting, let's, let's talk and say let's hello. Let's say hi to everybody. There he is Stacy Dallas. Yeah, he's first. He's always first. I got to get busy on making more of these. I'm sorry to those that don't have your special intro, but I know it kind of sucks. Yeah, but we'll time, get there. Is, time is scarce here for, for Mr. Rob. Go ahead. Next. Sometime. Oh, he's telling me. I am. I'm telling you what to do. Here is Miss Danny Marie in the house. Hope she is doing well today. Day. We've got Big Daddy Andy right here saying hello. Uh, we've got Miss Sandy, Miss Sandy and Little Peanut, Little Pickle. She's got her gherkin. She's got She's... A, what are Little Pickles called? Gherkins. Oh, okay. All right. right? I, I, think I, I, think, I think it's a gherkin. I'm almost positive. I don't know. Sounds. Are you, we better check that before you go using that term. <laughs> Um, there's Michael Greer. How are you doing, Michael? I hope you are doing well. Have seen you now a few times. It's nice to see your name back in the mix. I we've he missed you. Me. He missed me. He did. That's, I think he did. About. I think he did. All Mr. Right. Mark Brown. Mark Brown, cult member extraordinaire. We love him. We gotta love him, Mark Brown. Do love that dude. Um, there she is, Miss Jen Richardson from. Greetings from Beyond Radio with Rich Valdez and Jen, his lovely, beautiful producer. Uh, we have Miss Kimberly here in the house. How are you doing, Kim? I hope you're doing well. She threw me off with a new profile picture. Hello, Kim. Oh, wait, she did change it. It's got Sailor in there now. I know my shit. There's Miss Court. Uh-oh. Court, are you in Facebook jail? Uh, <laughs> probably. My beautiful Court right there. Well, officer got in touch with her. We have Jenny Davis, Unturned Pages and Whispers Within. Um, I'm almost positive that uh, one Mr. Rob Stackowitz and Danny Marie will be guest on Whispers Within tomorrow. Yes, I can confirm that because I just saw the post and I'm like, oh, fuck, <laughs> I got to be on a show tomorrow. Yeah. So, nice. You know, my magical tarot readings because, yeah, you know, the arcane arts that I have mastered over my centuries of existing in this yeah. universe and others next 22 viewers thank you three laughs i don't know what's funny but <laughs> probably just you probably a lot of shit. It's funny. i don't know it's funny. i don't even Gherkin. know there is my fellow blonde mr terry rogers right there what up what up mm -hmm. what up there um we love that do you guys just do you just adore the extra touches that courtney adds to all the shows in the get haunted paranormal podcast program seriously um chick is just out there working it hard working. she she makes sure that every single person is being seen and noticed and you know what she is. Send, send her some love send, send her, her some love. serious love send her a gift card yeah why he sees your hand. Oh, that must have been at the very beginning when you were, you know, doing your thing on the side. Right. <laughs> there is the yes. beautiful Denise Pac, yeah. Pac Man Paranormal, Hauntings of Fort Duffield, and the real Ditto House in 1841, right here. What? In 1840, 1841, Ditto House, the real. It's the real Ditto House Inn of 1841. Oh, in I N N. Yeah, yeah. No, it's in 1841. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is I'm going there. That's what yeah. I know. I know. Well, just you, or uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see who pisses me off over the next few months. Oh, I see that. There is the beautiful Miss Leanne Eskew. Leanne Eskew. There she is. 
Uh, let's see. Denise, she just left the house for the first time since Saturday. Yeah, she wasn't feeling well either. Yeah. I feel bad oh. for her. Plus, they've been threatened. Leanne, Todd, Denise, Ernie, every, a lot of people have been threatened by the weather recently, and it's yeah. kind of scary. At least it's the weather. I rather the weather than other people. Yeah. Uh, Kim <laughs> saying she misses us. We love oh. that. We there is Rachel Bradley coming in. Hello to you. Please check. You got to make sure you guys check out. Rachel is a new co-host to Beyond Haunts podcast with Anna Branda Marty. Good job. Branda Marty. We love it. Um, <laughs> impossible to find a photo of Rachel without another human being in it. So I included <laughs> her SO in this one. So, you, you know, Kevin here by proxy if he's not watching but there yeah. you go same photo i couldn't find shit of you guys she alone. does she's always in a picture with somebody everybody loves a picture with rachel that's just how that goes billy also keats profile picture billy keats looking that looks it looks like some sort of um looks military it it looks paintball or airsofty oh. good oh. good deal billy keats and i'm gonna get your hoodie by july i promise <laughs> Okay. He's like, I won't I, need it by then, but sure. There she is. He the fabulous. <laughs> There's the fabulous Anna, host of Beyond Haunts. Um, you might have checked out if you go look on the Get Haunted uh network page, public page, uh, we did post up her Etsy store. She makes those beautiful candles, and I am a sucker for these candles. The the candles that have like um stones, crystals, uh, rose petals, sage. It's a it's a beautiful rustic candle and she does make those she's also reaching out to you as investigators if you're looking for a, a candle that can be customized just for you your team uh or your group that goes out these are to help sort of with negativity warding off negativity protection uh she can even put your your team label on there so reach hmm. out to anna um she yeah. will get those made up for you and what an that's i love that i love that whole vibe like yeah. wouldn't that be awesome if every team had their own yeah. thing going on i mean on? i want one that smells like me <laughs> smells like rot and i need like twenty five thousand of those um negative energy warning off shit candles so <laughs> just put them everywhere just start in a line of street so. you know anna i'm curious in these candles and i don't and i'm not a candle maker so i don't know so don't anybody jump all over me here but i'm curious with these candles especially with the protection and warding off negative energies can you add like the salt aspect to a candle would that do anything to the wax or would that like work mm. to have like that sort of i'm curious anna and i are talking about a paranormally blonde candle so oh, everybody yeah, chill it's go. happening it's happening wow. and then you can actually uh when the eclipse takes out half the planet on the eighth you can eat <laughs> the candle afterwards and it'll be salty yeah. that's right I, yeah right. i want to i i definitely want to i have something to say about this eclipse business. okay we'll get to it yeah, um, there is Mr. Shane, Outer oh, Realms, Paranormal. I got to get them a banner, too. I have so much to do. Yeah, go ahead. that's Shane. Oh, can Please I go me. ahead? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, I just don't have it, and it's embarrassing. Go ahead. Uh, there is P3S. We've got Steven. That is Mr. Steven Steve. in the house. Yes. We love Steven. It was Joe Epps' birthday yesterday. Did you wish him a happy birthday? I yeah. did. I did. I, I, I realized <laughs> after I did it, because Facebook gives you the little... You go to start typing in and it gives you the canned thing and i post it, and yeah. then i look at everybody else's it was the same shit so he got a bunch of lazy ass happy birthday <laughs> wishes, but I thought, yeah I, thought, I did the belate i did belated i was different i did a belated yeah. birthday today so oh, good good just job. saying chris mac mac daddy in the hey. house how you doing chris hey. mac mac daddy mac daddy um keep going keep going Make sure we're not missing any, but Lisa Crema, there she is. Hey, girl, what's going on? Hope you are doing well today. We have, we owe her a chit chat. Um, let's see. Um, Ron Yacovetti, there he is. Staticom, the yak. There he is. There he is. Uh, Rob Squatch. I do love, I almost feel like this should be a t shirt. Would you guys buy that or Rob Squatch? Uh, that's what we need. <laughs> I kind of dig it. There's the beautiful Cindy. 
Cindy. I feel like I haven't seen her beautiful face for yeah, a while. Yeah, she's she's been she's been busy, I think. Yeah, and she was ill too. She wasn't feeling she super was well. The ick was going yeah, the ick was going around. Mr. Bob. Bob. There it is. Now. There it is. Hello to you. Hello to you. Um I think he's saying he would buy what? The t-shirt. Rob Squatch. Come on. Rob Squatch. Oh, yeah, we're uh, doing it. Does that say hey Ron and a piece of shit? What is that on the no, end? It's a monkey? It's a monkey. Oh why would they what, now come on? I can't tell. These are my bad glasses, folks. It's a monkey scratching his head. Uh, <laughs> it is? Yes. Or is it a lady dancing? No, it's not a lady dance. Just that's not a monkey. I don't yeah, think that's a monkey. It's a monkey. Help me out. Daddy is a monkey. It's like an orangutan or something. There is the beautiful and the sweet Miss Candy Slater. Um, everybody, I want to give you the heads up. Go over right now to the Get Haunted page, or 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 you can go. I, well, first, I think you should go over to the Get Haunted uh, Network public page and look for this uh, bracelet that is made by moxie malas and this was designed specifically for the haunted rock island roadhouse paracon that's coming up october 5th it is beautiful it is the most beautiful colors uh this was designed for protection and connection we love this concept and you can order it right now right now with your vip tickets if you go to extreme ticketing.com that's with an x with an x there's no e in it there extreme extreme ticketing.com and if you go here's a couple ways you can do this now these are by pre-order there will be a few and when i say a few there's not going to be many to buy at the paracon so you're going to want to get in on this but you can get your vip ticket and you can add on this beautiful moxie mala made special for the paracon bracelet mm -hmm. um or do what i did and i went right on extreme ticketing and ordered some bracelets right up because well i had to be first so, <laughs> i saw candy like put it out and i'm like i'm i'm doing it i'm ordering it yeah now i'm seeing that that little icon is either an orangutan or a bigfoot oh they have and, a big and now? ron is Gladly laughing at your evaluation. That might have been a <laughs> I'm sorry, Rod, because you are furthest from it. So I don't, that's why yeah. I was like, who's who's doing that? That's not nice. <laughs> not nice at all. There is Richie B banter with Richie B. Did you guys check out the packs were on? The packs were on with with Richie last night. We love that. That's right. Pack it up, pack it in. Let me begin. Yep. There is Adam. <laughs> They're level two. Shut up, Rob. Oh, he is a level two <laughs> cult member. Um, is I love that picture. Wait, he put a picture of me. That's you. Me. That's your. That's <laughs> your. Um, I. <laughs> he said, "I'm virtual Rob here to assist." Yes. yes. We, we love that. Please say your problem. <laughs> we love that. Thank Sorry. you, Adam. I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> there is. <laughs> Amanda Coots in the house. Amanda Coots. We saw her on on uh, Monday, and it is Wednesday. And I believe Amanda, you had something major going on yesterday, and I I hope it all went well for you. If you remember, Same. Rob, was Same. Yeah. So we hope you're doing well with that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Candy said it's an orangutan. Yeah. Well, I I just don't know. <laughs> well, squatch. It's one of the two. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um. Let's see. All right. Uh, I'm gonna make sure. Who, Hoot's not in the house. She, hopefully <gasps> she's good. I hope she's okay. She's okay. You did good. I hope you're doing well and you're finding some peace in that. Jessica, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing just fine. She says it's a happy day, so we're good with that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, listen, I'm just real. I'm just real. Oh, Jesus. What? I just keep seeing my photo on his comments. And Is it freaking you out? It's a little... Denise, here's the thing. If you're on Paranormally Blonde, if you're on Wednesday Live, if you're on Seek With Your Soul, if you're on with Banter with Richie B, listen, it's not going to be an hour. Just yeah. <laughs> Did not have shit to do. Don't Let it plans. be. <laughs> that's, why I had to, it's why I had to, that's why I had to design our own network for this because <laughs> when I was on a network and you have that hard hour, it's... 
didn't work for me. It was hard. Do you remember those those days, I used to. I, You were so proud when you'd finish a show and on point on time. In and yeah, out. I would have like if the guest is talking and you're like, oh my god, we have a minute. And I got to try to wrap this up yeah. in a minute, and I've got about another forty five to an hour of questions yeah. and thoughts I want to share. Oh yeah, exactly why Reggie needs to be here too. <laughs> That's that dude, right. That dude could go. Yeah. <laughs> It's Ms. Kaylee is here. Hello, Kaylee. Um, yeah, so let's talk about this eclipse, folks. So this is happening. And I, I just have to say, I and I this is this is no critique on anybody that loves this stuff, but I'm finding all the new shows doing this eclipse across America and people shutting things down for a four-minute event. Really crazy. Am I am I missing something here? I don't know. We're going to find out. Um, <laughs> we will find out. Yes. We're going to find true. out. Look, what am I prepared? I have my, my little generator, but I always have that charge because that's how I run my laser or will be running my laser at events and paracons and things. So I got a good day or two's worth of. Wait, but because the, I don't the shadowing is going to happen, it's supposed to happening. take out the world. I don't know. They're talking about all kinds of crazy. Um, don't get mad, Stacy, because I oh. just started thinking about this. Like this whole for form, like they're literally. So I've got one in. I've got a one of my chickens is right there in one of the the town cities states that oh, it, this shit. is supposed to affect, and they're shutting everything down, shutting down grocery stores, shut down for four really? minutes. Oh yeah. Okay. And um, I am not. I am not grasping. I don't know. I don't know what the, what the ramifications of not having light for four minutes is, but we gotta yeah. find out. I mean, Stacy got into it on the whole conspiracy thing. I don't know, whatever. That's how I feel, Billy. Do you remember? Hey, Rob, we're old enough to to say this. Yeah. Remember, like in the seventies, when you would just play, it didn't matter if it was an eclipse or I don't know tornadoes. You just played outside. You were like. You just took cover wherever you could. Oh uh, yeah. My my scariest childhood moment was <laughs> I was riding my bicycle. It was it was a storm, like like it's stormy here today. And I, I kind of parked it under a tree and that tree got hit by lightning. Um and my father was like, It probably won't strike again. <laughs> so I said, <laughs> you let me stay out there. Yeah. Um Last eclipse, we were in the line of totality and things shut down here in our town. I don't know what a line of, look, maybe I'll be the first to die. I don't know. I just know. I think what she's saying, she was in the, where it was a total eclipse. Not everybody's okay. going to be in the total eclipse, right? So okay. she was right there. But when you, when you say, Leanne, things shut down, like purposefully, like people went, we're turning everything off and shutting down for this eclipse. I, that's how I would read that. But who knows? Yeah. I just know back in the 80s um i i was in the line of a total eclipse of the heart <laughs> that's what i know but fyi that is the song that angel baby and i belt out in the car when we drive anywhere oh well there you go i don't know who would have known that not me like that is one of my secret shames um yeah so it just it is it's funny when i think about as a kid um, and I do, I, every time I see the meme, like, you know, they have kids doing all these, whatever these, these, um, drills in school now, all the extra drills that we didn't have, but remember they'd be like, Oh, a tornado go out with a book on your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, okay. I mean, what did they have you do when they, when they said the red coats were coming? Um, we just went out in the hallway with a book over our head. <laughs> Red coats, tornadoes, doesn't matter. Okay. That's that's the line of protection. Okay. But they okay. never, you still walked home from school you in the prairie. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. I was just making sure you got my job. I right. got it. <laughs> then I felt bad for a second. <laughs> no. I, all right. Oh, I got okay. it. All right. Good. Um. Yeah. So I just, I'm cracking up every time I see Good Mor Morning America's um, commercial for their okay. upcoming and they're all putting on their, 3d glasses and it's you know eclipse across america and then of course champagne lady comes to mind because hands across america and it's just all a right process let's so, not talk about that 
right um, Billy? I virtual love rob is saying um we're gonna be fine yeah <laughs> thank you i kind you know what adam i kind of dig this um yeah you i kind of it is creepy though uh and adam you know what's gonna happen next there's gonna be copycats out there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh my god yeah um, um I don't know what the red heifer is. I think Stacy explained it to yeah, me. Yeah, remember the red cows that they found? I think four oh, yeah, in Texas or five in Texas yeah, or something like that. Imported them or exported them to Israel. Yeah, I get it. yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe Denise, mm -hmm. I can see that too. The lizard people. It is weird to hear. Like I, not weird. I, I do like seeing everybody's thoughts and theories that are that are out on Facebook and and sort of what it all means. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it means. This is what I do know. In my fifty-two years the things that we have been told to run and, and hunker down for, I think I was out just playing and drinking out of hoses and <laughs> it just didn't matter. We just never went inside. We were just yeah. outside all the time. Yeah. Well, yeah, we need to, but be I, I also don't have any memories. So, yeah. So you may have bad things may have happened. You could have been taken aboard a ship. What if that's what it is? What if all those times I was, what if it's lost time? What if I was abducted and I didn't even realize it? It could be. It could be. It could be. I don't even oh. know. Well, I don't even know. So I don't know. Just... We have like four days and four days we're going to know. So buy your tickets today. I can't hold it back. <laughs> that's I right. Buy water. Yeah. Amanda, right? Like, <clears throat> it's the same in Texas, right? Like you just... You just keep driving down the highway when you just try to keep your distance, but they're right there. And you just deal with it. This is this it's it's a weird, it is weird times, people, weird times. Anyway, so that's the eclipse. Um what do you want to talk about next? What do you want to talk about next? That's the big old question. <laughs> Adam, I want to hire you for paranormally blonde as well. Uh. It does taste, you know what, no. drinking from a hose See, that's is different. My problem. That's my only problem with drinking water from a hose or, uh, you know, in the military, we had these big five-gallon um, jugs that, or your canteens, right? You get that plastic taste that oh. I just don't like, especially if you're in the Back heat. then? Back in the day? Because I don't remember any of that shit being well, that. Was hose is a little different, but canteens, yeah. Canteens, yeah. you know, the water warms up and it just tastes like plastic. Yuck. And they are delicious. Listen, the reason you did it is because if you went inside, you were afraid you were going to have to stay inside for some reason. Chores, homework, something, get in trouble. So you just stayed outside. You just didn't matter. Just That's didn't it. matter. Um, well, let's touch on extreme ticketing briefly. Let's why don't we? Let's okay. do that. Um, so you might have seen uh, ExtremeTicketing.com is a new service, a new branch of Get Haunted. Uh, we are super excited about this. And what we are uh, building here is for the community. It is another way to make life a little easier in the paranormal for you and outside of the paranormal. So if there's anything you've got going on for ticketing needs, this is an amazing self-service uh, service to you. Um and I don't know, there's just something really cool, in my opinion, about this whole um, concept and website and where this could really go. And I love not just the ticketing aspect of it, but the store situation as well. So if you do have merchandise or something, a service that you do sell, this is such a great way for people to find you and not just your events or what it is your ticket is for, but also other things that you might be selling all right there. All, all packaged real cool with the XT. Yeah, it, it really is all in one spot. I mean, you know, there's really no reason. So what I'm noticing is more and more smaller teams are starting to host public events. Two brothers, mm -hmm. two brothers extreme, for example, one, one really good example. Um, you know, and it, it is a little bit of a pain in the butt to get set up on and on an external ticketing service. Right. Um, at the same time, we, we have done their merch in the past, um, you know, on the, the, there are capabilities within this website to have your own store, um, which you're seeing here. I created these for them without asking. So they're happy. <laughs> so anyway, um, but I'm testing the functionality of it. So you yeah. can literally take everything that 
that you're doing as a team in the paranormal and bring it to one place for you and you, and the people that come to your events and you can sell your merch and because they make it, we can do the fulfillment. Um, plus you get the reach, you get the reach of the get haunted network, um, and our affiliates. So, um, there's a lot of pros to this, right? There's a lot of pros to it. So, um, what we had, and we did a soft launch so, so that we could get, candies events up there right so that they could sell um hey pdx um hey thomas so that they could get selling on the um the rock island tickets right um so and it was a great kind of alpha test right let's see what happens or, or beta test uh let's see what happens everything's working fine and smoothly it's it's a well-known it's a well-used ticketing engine system mm -hmm. um teams can offer event insurance right there to the customer yeah. who purchased tickets um there's a lot there's a lot to it um what we're where we're at is developing right now the marketing and advertising pieces and the user guides you know so you come you sign up uh, you gotta let us know that you want to host events and we can change your roles uh, you get all your payouts, you use your own payment processor, which is beautiful. Right. And that can be PayPal even. Um, so you don't have to rely on, on our payment processor. It all goes to directly to you. So you're not getting paid out by extreme ticketing or anything mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Um, Joe B is another example, right? They're starting to do, uh, next to Ken starting to do their own events. And this would be a perfect place for him not only to have a shop, um but also to offer tickets um there's all kinds of different um functionality in here but at the end of the day um we've got we had to get it launched so um there it is it is it is a another branch like you said of the get haunted network um and you get to utilize the reach right and even that we're bringing the podcasts into this mm -hmm. right so think of and uh, whether they know it or like it or not you know you might get a a five ten second spot as a commercial for your events um you can highlight you at the top there's a lot of there are a lot of benefits to it. thank you mike's gonna mike's gonna be using it um two brothers and, and that's what i love rob about this whole you know sort of when we come up with or we we decide we want to embark on a new project you know it really is the networking aspect it is about sharing and helping each other you know it's in today's world yes money the the actual money is important to keep things running y you have to nothing's That's free happy. um but it's also the the value of cross promotion and you know what we have seen so successful here in the network is people actually networking and helping each other and mm -hmm. lifting each other um and that's what it takes so i do love that the podcast will have that option to be able to help share out yeah. um and in turn you never know what can happen beautiful collabs we've seen collabs just come out of the things like this and and that's what we're super excited about so um i'm excited to grow this we do have um right now candy is uh, helping us uh, and, and managing this and helping us get this thing uh, going and moving. Um, and it's, it is, it's going to be exciting to watch it grow along with the network because again, you know, it's like everybody sort of has a little bit of a, like the, we're, we're looking to see what's needed, what's missing, what holes need to be filled. <laughs> so, yeah, and listen, there's a couple there are a couple locations already <laughs> interested. Um, uh, also, <laughs> also missing um, pieces, people missing pieces. You know, missing pieces. Um, yeah, like you brought up, um, <laughs> Anna's. I gotta close the chat. I got it. I can't even. <laughs> you look can't. You can't read. You guys make it so much worse. This, um, Anna's candles, right? Um, if she doesn't already have a shot, <laughs> she could. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <Told you>. Hey, Joe. <laughs> Oh, it's 
So, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's extreme ticketing. Come on over. We'll fill your hole. <laughs> Virtually. Oh, yeah, so that's that. Oh, yeah, yeah, great, <laughs> great launch. <laughs> oh, don't worry, we will treat your event very professional. Very, very, <laughs> very. oh my god. <clears throat> Here, I was just trying to give, I know, right, Kaylee? I don't even know what happens sometimes. Like these, you'll see these if I can, if I convince the packs to open their store, these are their EAD stones. <laughs> Um, I need to. I need to order one from Denise. Yeah, I just need do. to get one order. I got mine though. Just I, saying. Okay. Well, that's this great. one has um, brick dust in it from Waverly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right, Denise. I mean, right, you know, yeah, you get it. That's where I'm it. special. I do it cheap. Denise, where can we get those uh, EDA stones EAD. from? How EAD. It's not EAD. Okay, um, EAD. Um, where do we get those? How do we get those? Let us well, know because I'd like to get those going. She's got a list of things to make. Uh, we'll work with Denise on that. We'll get that. We'll actually announce that for them. Okay. And whether it's on Extreme or on their site, we don't yeah. care. We want to see. Um, <laughs> uh oh. We just, after that whole thing, now we just got an interview out of that. <laughs> Emmy's like, you know what? Let's watch, <laughs> watch these two. <laughs> watch what they do. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's too. I funny. I think I'm. I don't know what I'm doing Friday. <laughs> uh, All right, fuck off, it, Adam. <laughs> hey, that's the virtual Rob, Michael Castro, Ghosted Magazine. Yeah, for those video maker and video maker and um, badass. Yeah. That's the uh, that's what EAD stands for, people. <laughs> Just so you don't, just so you don't think that, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's extreme ticketing. Be You're going to start seeing some things moving out there. So what we would appreciate, um, as always, be as a network, is helping share that out to everybody. And it yeah. isn't just about paranormal, FYI. It's not. It is going to be open to much more than paranormal. But, of course, we are starting where we work the most, and that is in the paranormal. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can so literally that. sell tickets to a birthday party. Well, who's selling tickets to a birthday party? I might. I might this year. Yeah. For my own personal birthday, I might sell tickets. Yeah. Okay. Amanda, you need to do that. Get a platform going. Um, and we would love to learn more. I believe Amanda's in Arizona. So I would love to to learn more about what it is. Um, I don't know what this is. I... I think he's talking about the, the little intro videos. I don't oh, know. I, I don't know. That was like an hour ago. Oh, so, sorry, I mean, Amanda. Kansas. Kansas. Why did I think Kansas. Arizona? You just said Kansas too. It's you close. would think. It's close. I guess. Kansas, Kansas. Arizona. Very different. Two very different places. Um, so that's extreme ticketing. Um, guys, we need some help. Are we free? She's asking. Are we free? Oh yeah, answer the answer the question. What time? What time, Emmy? Is that nine o'clock? Is that nine o'clock Eastern time? I think I might be. I think I might be. I can be. I'm always free. I I, I do nothing, and I, <laughs> I have no event Friday, so I can make it happen. We'll make we'll, it happen. We'll wait on Sarah. Um, we're we'll, we're gonna make that happen. Um, also, everybody, please be aware tonight, 5 p.m. Eastern time. We woo Wednesday. J Mac mm -hmm. and Emmy. We woo. Um. Mm -hmm. Go get some positivity in your life. Check them out. Um, I do have it up on the Get Haunted Network public page. And I've got their YouTube up there. All you have to do is click that little link and you will find Wee Woo Wednesday. Click it. Click it. Click it. Click um, it. I cannot do anything in an hour. Yeah. I can't, I can't know anything. No. And I agree with Rich. Richie's really really good interviewer right so you know limiting him to one hour is almost sacrilege almost. yeah and you don't want to bust it up because then you'll lose that momentum yeah. you've got going so you I just know. keep going yeah yeah that's sort of how i think about it um i want to mention a couple a couple events um need some help from my midwest friends 
uh, we do have ISS, or otherwise known as Indiana State Sanatorium in Rockville, Indiana, coming up April 27th. This is a beast, a beast of a location. This, we have spots for so many people, um, and we need you to come and join us. Come and join us at ISS. This is going to be an amazing location. This is Githan, its first time at ISS. Um, so how much more fun to do a first time with Get Haunted at this amazing location, but I need your help to push that out. Um, I will po post something specific to ISS for you um, to share out, but I need my Midwest friends. Push that out, push it out, share it, get us known out there. We're, we're not so known, so I don't know if yeah. people are curious, not yeah, curious. It's a struggle, right? Because, you know, the diehards that, that support us out there want us to come out there, but God damn. Yeah, you know, we got to have uh, we got to be able to to fill up some seats, some seats, some seats. Well, right now it's kind of freaking me out because we have like nine people. <laughs> it's such a big location and I'm afraid like this is going to be big. This is the buildings are big. Um, you know, this is th this location. I think was it like nine buildings or it's something crazy it's, uh, yeah i don't i haven't i tried not to dig too deep into it i just want to get there and be surprised yeah. and enjoy it and have fun hearing nothing but amazing things um yeah i don't know if the price point isn't right like we can push all you want but people they gotta understand you know the value on that yeah. um so yeah they need to take a look at that and we'll figure something out but yeah it'd be and good big to daddy andy's going don't he's going he's Joe, going, he's going. Don's going. It's his freaking birthday. Yeah, come on. Oh yeah, it's fifteen buildings, something like that. Um, that's the thing. Like this location, and I am like you, Rob. I don't like to know too much about what's going on at these locations. I'd like to go in a little bit cold. Um, but this is this is a this is like a big beast of a, a an investigation, and it's going to take all of us together to get this going. So come on, folks. Like yeah. check it out. We're going to have some badass equipment there for you to try and use. Bring your own. We always encourage that. Um, and let's explore ISS together for the first time, Rockville, Indiana. Yeah, do April twenty seventh. Let's do that. Um, outside of that, we also have. Old Hospital on College Hill. That is April 13th. 13th. That's my dad's birthday. That is your dad. That's happy birthday, Fred. Um, happy birthday, Fred. That is going to also be, oh, we would love that, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, April 13th, Old Hospital on College Hill, Williamson, West Virginia, uh, home of Girls versus Boys. Uh, <laughs> Tends to be the favorite. So many people love it. So many people love Old Hospital. There are such good reasons to love it. April 13th, go check it out. Check and it. then head over to like Biscuit World. Ah, oh, Tudor's Biscuit World. My God. Yeah. That alone is worth the 12 Get yourself the cutest t-shirt. I should have worn that. You know what? I'm going to wear that t-shirt in honor of OHCH. You should on the next show because that is one of my favorite t-shirts it's like taters and they're so cute <laughs> they're so cute it was a damn good breakfast did we not eat there like every day. three or four times yeah pretty much every day <laughs> it's like let's go to biscuit world like we're going to yeah. tutors um love that so if you want to check it out old hospital on college hill williamson west virginia that is april 13th um, please go check it out. I know tutors. We love tutors. Denise yeah, got to love it. Cool. Hello, Sarah. Good afternoon, Sarah. We hope you are doing well. Um, that, yeah. See now this is where, oh wait, what is she saying? Peppy. What is that? That I don't know. Yeah. The <laughs> Mike Cronin, get your tickets, people. <laughs> we just have, we gonna, I'm gonna have him do a, so, a sound bite. Like, I'm gonna have you do like yeah. a cool little video where you're like, get your tickets, people. Let's do that. Um, so that's what we got going on. Uh, we also, oh, pepperoni and cheese biscuit. Uh, oh, shit. I got the grape, like the biscuits and gravy breakfast. Mm. It's a good one, so good. Um, yeah, so so yeah, help us out there. Put put the word out. Um, old hospital, you know, there's nothing to not love. Um, other than it's a little it's a little far away and a little hard to find, but um, once you're there, it's like God damn. And Charlie and Tanya are two of the, oh. two of the kindest people on the planet. So get there, get there, get but, there. Yeah, these are coming up. 
They yeah. are coming up. Get there. Um, yeah, and then we've got a bunch of other events. I just put um, New, New Egypt up. Someone reminded me, hey, there's no new event made on Facebook for New Egypt. So New New Egypt's up there. I know Tom Boulder's going to be there and Doreen. Um, hey, Diz. What's up, buddy? Um, so, yeah, looking forward to to one more night at New Egypt. You know, one of probably many more. But that one's, I don't know when that is, late in April or May. Um, but anyway, yeah, those two. Oh God, Denise, see, yeah, she not that did. far. It's not that far. Four hours. That's like such a day trip. That's like you know what? I'm gonna go. That's nothing. That's nothing. Um, yeah, it's not yeah. even really that far for me. It was only like seven hours, and I, like to me, that's such a drive. I know for you, I feel bad for you. Those those drives are pretty long for you. Yeah. Um, but I have to say, like, I driving out. I'll, I'll say from Michigan to that part of because that's right on the border. You drive over the bridge. The, of the river you're in Kentucky. You're in Kentucky. Um, it was like only seven hours and it was a beautiful, I have to say a beautiful, I can't, I, I'm a, I can't believe I'm going to say I had a beautiful drive in Ohio, but I did. <laughs> it was beautiful. Um, so you got to love old hospital on college hill, but we do have some great events coming up uh, June 1st. Also don't forget the second leg of um, our, Devils on the Run tour with Nesper. On that one's going to be at MSP, Missouri State Penitentiary. Guys, this I love. I love how this one worked out. Rob, um, working with Nesper, um, we got to start it right there. Um, see, four hours for see. Yeah, so we gotta we gotta add Kentucky in that too. See. Yeah, we gotta. I need to. I need people to or uh, Kansas in that. I need people to like help me out. I could look at a map, but it's, it sounds so much better coming right from them. Like they kind of put it in perspective. Yeah. Um, I love this part of devils on the run. Like we got to start it at the amazing haunted Shanley hotel right there in uh, Napa Knock, New York. It was so cool to do it in a hotel. We did the day tours, then doing the two nights, not just one night, but two nights of investigating with Nesper and with these amazing artifacts from the Warren's occult museum. Um, so to do it at a hotel and to be sleeping there, very, very unique. Now, take that experience. You were just at a hotel. You're all cozy, comfy at a hotel. Guess what? Now we're throwing you into a prison setting uh, with these items. And I just, oh. Yeah, it's not just any prison. It is Missouri State Penitentiary, mm -hmm. which um, also known as the 47 bloodiest acres in America. Um, it's, it's a monster of a location, you know. Yeah um you got a hall you've got you, you've got we've got women's cell block we got the general pop um 3d there's just some and of course the gas chamber um it's one of it's one of my favorite places on the planet and the staff there is beyond incredible um there's just a lot so this this bringing bringing nesper and the artifacts into this mix and and that place is intimidating all yeah. by itself yeah. um so throwing these guys into the mix ought to be really really interesting so um curious to see what happens actually kelly from the shanley sent me over a spirit box session yesterday that i do have to share with you wade um dan and the and the whole nesper crew um there was a spirit box interaction that was pretty interesting and it seems to tie back to our two nights there um it's weird and i think she might have posted it because did, there was, yeah. there's parts of it she didn't because there oh, are, I, okay. I i am i am requested or mentioned in there at some point it's pretty oh. it's pretty funky uh yeah so oh okay so rob's freaking popular in the living world uh, and the afterlife we get it we get uh, it rob yeah everybody so loves rob. I miss so <laughs> everybody's got to use your name we get it rob yeah i mean jeez. <laughs> um but i do i love i love this opportunity and i i hope i think we probably have a couple that were at the shanley that are also going to be at the prison yeah. and what i love about that particular um person in the paranormal or investigator or researcher or explorer is this. I love that they are willing to see what, what you're really getting this full robust experience 
of these items in different settings and how does that react differently? How do you react differently? Um, so I do, I love the, the contrast of a hotel, comfortable, you know, even though some people find the Shanley a little unnerving, um, but let's be honest, a hotel versus a prison, very different settings. So yeah. I think it haunted knocked this one out of the park um, and getting to work with Nesper on this is amazing. Um, so help us make that one a success. That is June 1st at MSP. June 1st. Um, and you can find those tickets on gethaunted.com, going to our events. Um, check it out because these are these are opportunities. This is something they don't do all the time. Um, not sure that they will do it after this Devil's on the Run tour. We don't know. They don't know. We don't know. Maybe they know. I shouldn't talk. I shouldn't speak for them. Well, no, look, it's got, it's got to be successual to continue, right? It's like anything in life. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so we've got a busy, busy, so busy. Schedule ahead of us and it, it's a little bit, it's a little bit daunting, but we'll get, we'll get it all done. Oh yeah. You know, in between all those amazing things, you're going to start seeing the drops of the Paracons that are coming up um, oh. and they do start in May. So um, yeah, you know, we've got, we've got a lot going on. Uh, working hard, rolling out projects, um, coming up with new events um, that we're so excited to get in the mix and sharing out with each and every one of you. That is for sure. Um, am I missing any other big event? Oh, well, we've got the trifecta. Like there's there's one right there. Yeah, so reminded me. yeah, so we've got the trifecta. Um, that is Memorial Day weekend. And to me, there is no better way to make a memory on Memorial Day weekend than this two-day event with Get Haunted, the Haunted Shanley Hotel, Napanak, New York, uh, the Pine Bush UFO and Paranormal Museum, also with Ronnie LeBlanc, Bigfoot Expedition, and also Ron and Lourdes Staticom. Um, this amazing event uh, is tying in three aspects or disciplines, as Rob calls them, um, of the paranormal, the UFO side, the crypto side, and the ghost side. This is a, an amazing weekend to understand the commonalities of these experiences or how they work together, how they might play off of each other if one produces another, if they're the same, or if they're not the same. And, and you know, we're gonna, that's what we're all going to do. We're going to dig at that one for two nights, two mm -hmm. nights. It's crazy. Hey, Diane. Hey, Diane. Um, yeah, it's gonna. It's all gonna be nuts. And so, yeah, we're we're super, super, super busy. Did I do put that banner up, or did you do that? I didn't do that. Oh, I must have did that. Sorry. That you. That you. Um, so yeah, I mean, trifecta. Uh, Devils on the Run tour with Nesper and Get Haunted. Um, we have. I mean, the, the opportunities that we have ISS, like, you know, we're, we're putting, we're putting ourselves out there to open those doors for each and every one of you to try something different, step outside of your comfort zone, step outside of what, you know, um, I, that's what I love about the trifecta, Rob. I think that sometimes, and I've admitted this, um, for me, you know, it's not that I don't find the other things interesting. It's just where I spend my time is more on the ghost plane. Um, just what I sort of, what resonates with me and what I truly love. Although after spending just that short amount of time on the tour at Pine Bush Museum, yeah, the UFO aspect, hey, Jess, the UFO aspect has suddenly become very, very intriguing to me for just new reasons. Um, the way Lance, who runs Pine Bush, um, he does an amazing job. FYI, if you are in Pine Bush, New York, or anywhere near, do yourself a favor, get your ass over to the Pine Bush UFO and Paranormal Museum. Take the tour. Take the tour. Um, we couldn't stay. We had to get back and get ready for the event. Um, but... Let me tell you something. Watching what is Richie saying? I think what, Richie's way back at the beginning of the show. What garbage were we watching? <laughs> no, no, I you we're probably talking about the eclipse thing because he's talking about oh you know, the Richie. <laughs> he can't hear us because this is oh, like, we're okay. we're in Richie's future. There's time oh, <laughs> we're, we're future Richie. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so yeah. 
uh, Lance does such an amazing job. They did such an amazing job putting together just that pine bush area alone with the um, experiences and experiencers and the process. We did talk about this, the process, by the way, that a UFO experiencer, what they have to go through in order for it to actually make it on the list is mm. insane. Mm. It's insane. Um, so, <laughs> Adam. Um, so I love, I just, I love this whole opportunity on a weekend and especially at the Shanley, it's such an, right there nestled right in the Hudson Valley, which is prime with all activity, ghost, cryptid, UFO. What a great opportunity to work together with some of the most amazing and kind people in the paranormal. So yes, Ron Yacovetti yeah. cannot wait to be able to work with oh, you man. and let everybody understand in better detail um, about Staticom. You can check it out on Paranormally Blonde. We had Ron and Lourdes on. Amazing guest. First mm -hmm. of all, amazing guest. Um, and it was so intriguing. But to be there in person and get that really good one-on-one -on -one up close and personal attention what are you looking at? You're freaking me out. Yeah, we're getting thunder and like crazy wind. Yeah, so uh -oh. that's why Leo's gonna start losing his shit here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I love that. I love um that weekend. I'm so proud of. Um, so get your tickets because the early bird special is going to be ending. And um, so if you want a little bit of a discount on the two night of an amazing two night, two nights, um, it's an amazing um price but that is going to go away that is the early bird special yeah, raising, we have to raise the price soon so the promotional prices are ending and uh, so get your oh my god yeah. uh someone someone text richie b and tell him i'm <laughs> <laughs> show host i'm gonna do this to him on his next show i love that no love and respect to you ron honestly ron yeah. and lourdes um check out their show entity voices paranormal smart smart well thought out people with such passion and i love that they're taking that passion and they're creating some some concepts and thoughts um that it's fascinating uh, beyond yeah. fascinating you know, as an author just get, go go support them buy his yeah. book show up go buy his book. <laughs> um also that kind of leads me to um thinking of ron and staticom um it kind of leads me to the next thought, which is you saw a post out there for our friend Rob Walsack of Ghost Gear Technologies. Um, he has an opportunity for each and every one of you. Um, click on it, become a beta tester. Uh, he is working with an amazing um, smart person uh, with AI. Um, that kind of I'm, I'm curious if Ron and Rob, if if that would at all work together um the concept are we allowed to talk about what the concept is i have no idea so maybe you shouldn't okay i mean he uh, put it out there to be beta tester up. what's that we can link those two up yeah we can but what i what i love about kind of and it, and it goes along with not just uh it is for for EVPs is what the study is is on and it's for a concept, but he needs as many beta testers, which I do believe when we put it out, he did say, he's like, wow, you got, your people jumped right on it. Um, we need more of you. We need more of you to jump on that, be a beta tester, because the more beta testers, the more this program will get seen and uh, pushed up the, I believe, up to the front of the line to, mm -hmm. you know, happen. I, I, I don't know how, what I'm allowed to say. <laughs> Then stop saying it. Okay. Oh, why didn't you tell me I had my what my title up there? Um, <laughs> well, I can't, you know what? I don't even. I didn't even know what emoji was on Ron Yacovetti's. That's true. Hello. So, like, I know what's going on with your name. You okay. are a producer. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so there's that else have i'm trying to think what else needs a little bit of love guys the the get haunted po paranormal podcast program let me tell you something first of all first and foremost thank you thank you to each and every show and show host that has stepped up and said yes we want to give this a try thank you you are making this program a success thank you so much um we are we are growing quickly we are up to as of today 28 shows that are on um the list of active shows um Never in a million years, did you think, Rob? No. <laughs> I, um, I thought all 28 would just be hours. Yeah, pretty close. 
we make up about 20 of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but we are so excited about this. Um, and I think, you know, this is going to morph into something even bigger than I had imagined um, because the show hosts are so awesome and they're so helpful to each other. And it's what we really love seeing. So we're excited to see where this program goes. We are still building it out. It is not a complete um, program because I wanted the host to have a voice in this and to help grow it and to help build it. So I'm excited to see what this turns into, just like the rest of what Get Haunted is, which is a beautiful network of people yeah. wanting to help people. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty amazing. And, you know, just so you all know, this was this was yet another one of Sarah's ideas that, that is springing to life. Um which is kind of a cool segue into a, a post Sarah made this morning on the Get Haunted Network um, about empowering women and the paranormal. Um, I know it wasn't her fishing for me to run in there, nor was it supposed to be a nomination. No, it was not supposed to be. <laughs> I, know, well, I, I turned it into that. So my my good deed, I did get yelled at for it. But um, no, it you know, ladies and guys, I don't care. You can nominate a lady out there. But here's what I'll say about women in the paranormal right um and you can look at you can look at all the statistics you want and i get you know even the even the people that follow this page and and interact with this page the vast majority of of people that come to our events and support the page i wouldn't say the vast majority but the ladies outnumber the men for sure um you know working alongside and with women the entire time has been um uh, has been it's been special right um and then sarah came along right and helped me really get this thing off the ground and the company is half hers whether people realize it or not um there are times she's she's overlooked or forgotten and it, it drives me crazy so i'm sorry if that ever happens to you but it is because you guys and this is not because, but this is why you all need to get out there and, and support each other and lift each other. So thank you, Sarah. I can admit it. And I think I've admitted it before this, this get haunted. None of this would be what it is today without you and your, your endless dedication and the hours you put into this and um, you talking me off of multiple ledges <laughs> over the past two and a half years. So um, yeah, I wanted to nominate you and there are, there are, plenty of other ladies that i could not nominate but i wanted to start with you um, well you and i was not fishing for that um no, you know the the um post really is you know we see and, and it's something rob and i have talked about this um on several occasions um you know i think that this this is not um when you read the post it is i'm going to start spotlighting um women out there um where we are going to start in the in the paranormal field because that's where I spend a majority of my time. Um, I have been endlessly inspired and motivated by so many of you, yeah. um, and I think that um, in a field where um, you know I see it a lot. We we've talked about this. You know we see a lot of that, like uh, women's retreats or whatever. Um, but much like life. I think sometimes there's still, and I said it in the post, it's about women or supporting women, but with conditions. Um, and I have been blessed to find women without conditions. Um, we we talk a lot, um, but we don't um, we don't walk the walk sometimes. Um, yes, of course, we're not going to love everybody, and that's okay. Um, but I will always say that um, no matter no matter what, and Rob, you, you can you can validate this for me even if i've said might not like that person i have to give credit where credit is due and and then i give the credit where i see there should be credit um i don't think we we don't normalize that a lot um i think we we are too far into the i don't like this person for whatever reason and then we just negate everything they do mm -hmm. um good people can do bad things and bad people can do good things folks <laughs> um so this was supposed to be my moment um, to lift up the women who I find um, personally to show that dedication, perseverance, strength, vulnerability, and also able to work with counterparts. Um, I think sometimes that gets left out in the feminine energy. I am a big believer of balance. Um, I, I'm 
I just am. I am not a man hater in, in any sense of the word. I love strong feminine and strong masculine. I love when when my masculine counterparts can accept my masculine moments because <laughs> I can. She, she can be a dude. <laughs> I can be a dude. Um, so I think, you know, that I think there are so many women out there um, doing such amazing, beautiful work. Um, and I don't, I don't, I want them to realize that they are a huge source of inspiration, motivation, and encouragement. Um, and there's no condition on that. Um, you might even see me lift people that you might be surprised. Um, cause that's, I, I do, I feel we should give credit. I'll, I'll be the first one to tell you my problems don't come from men and I don't want to, I, this is not for anybody to assume why. Um, I will tell you any struggles I have had are 90, I'll say 98.9% woman induced. 98.9. Yeah. That's a good, that's a nice exact number. Here's what I will say though. You know what she won't lift? <laughs> if Any you say my of, wallet, I'm going to kick her, her wallet or... <laughs> A, a, a box at a paracom yeah that's the only, those are the only two things she will not lift okay first of all that's she'll, a, she'll lift a pepperoni a slice of pepperoni pizza like it's nobody's business though you know what i did lift a box one time and you freaked out <laughs> oh i hear it um yes well you know what that's when i like to use my femininity <laughs> i she can't does. Lift that. <laughs> uh, that, I, this is not a joke like i was allowed <laughs> He bought Dunkin' Donuts once, and uh, I was only allowed to get one donut. That's not true. No, are you talking about when we were at the gas station? Yeah. I didn't even allow you to get a donut. I told oh, you yeah. your coffee was enough. Yeah, the coffee was enough. <laughs> I couldn't get the I didn't know you wanted a donut, so let's be honest. <laughs> that was funny. That was probably one of the funniest, because I think somebody even, I think another customer was like, what the hell is going on over there? Because you're like, Dude, I was I like, can... and that will no, I think the guy said, Will that be it? And I said, Yes. And you were like, Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> the guy guess. in front of us tried to hand me a dollar. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry your mom won't let you have a dollar. <laughs> it was pretty funny. So oh, um, yeah. Well, so you're I'm joking. <laughs> I am joking. She lifts her wallet, she puts it right back in her purse. <laughs> Double for you. <laughs> I hope the chi power goes straight to you. Uh, I know Chris Mack. He he's got a don't yeah. listen. He got a donut. Maybe not that day, but he got a donut yeah. on other events. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna start a little spotlighting of strong feminine energy. Um, I hope that you all participate and and you know, it, you just sort of hope people we see enough highlighting of the other side of things. <laughs> it would be nice to see highlighting yeah. of the good side. And no, well, Adam, I cannot be nominated. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised. Um, yes, Jess, let's see. Uh, Dave Schrader made a similar talking about how we need to bring each other up. Yeah, you know... Um, I think, you know, we talk a lot and, and listen, you know, I have, I have two daughters. Um, and so look, we need to learn to validate ourselves, but I think, you know, as we, as we raise our, our young women, um, you know, this competition, there's no competition here. Um, motivation, encouragement, um, compete with yourself, um, you know, and perhaps, perhaps let's stop saying we're all about women. And then in the next breath, bash a woman that that might that might help and that's what i see a lot of, of my and i'm not going to say i'm not guilty um but sometimes that's what we see um with my within my sister circle um you know let's just let's try we are the journey can be hard for all sides the journey can be hard um so let's let's sort of lift each other up instead of cramming each other down it just doesn't need to happen you want to be a beta buster what's a beta buster well, she wants to be a, a beta tester. I'll send you the link, uh, Emmy, so you can check it out. It's really cool. Um, so Emmy. Uh, oh, unless she's talking about. No, like, she. it was an auto, correct? But yes. Okay. Yeah, because beta busters are far different. <laughs> That's right. 
Oh, um, I see. Okay, she says that. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, so you're gonna start seeing that. Um, what else? Anything else? Cool. Supernatural so story, much. guys. I, I think we hit it. Supernatural story, guys. Um, tomorrow night we're going live. Um, it'll be Sarah, Rob, Mike, April, Bassett. Um, and we're gonna give you an update, right? So we've received uh, quite a few now. Um, vendor applications. Um. We want to make sure everybody's aware of the layout. So I'll have, we'll have a schematic, you know, the floor plan of the ship and the vendor area. Um, you know, just so you understand before we, because we do have to, what, what this can't turn into, right? Because there are so few vendor spots, there's 12, right? Mm -hmm. It can't be 12 candle makers. That would just suck for everybody. <laughs> it can't be 12 psychic mediums doing readings. That would suck for everybody. Um, yeah. yeah, Tom, I mean, an hour and an hour and seven minutes, we cover like probably 77 <laughs> different topics. So you're going to have to go back like Richie. Back um, <laughs> so we want to make sure everybody's understanding the layout and the floor plan and, and what, what it's going to look like as we start approving these applications, which will happen here in the next, um, mm -hmm. I don't know, whatever, but we'll talk about that tomorrow night. Plus we're going to update them on the swag bag situation. Ooh. Oh, they're getting and, good. Aren't they getting good? Yeah. And they're what's, you know, we can't really, we're not going to reveal what's going to be in there, but we're going to reveal some ideas about what could be in there and how, if you want to contribute, you can as well. Um, it's a great way for promotion because we're starting to promote the shit out of this thing starting, well, now up until October 26th. Um, so you have, you have an opportunity. It doesn't matter how big or small you or your team are are is was um i don't even know what the right word is there but yeah so watch that it's an important one um you know tickets are selling is going to be bad ass so and then the more we plan this sucker out the more that comes together um yeah and i have an faq because we have um we have been getting a lot of questions so i put a frequently asked questions slide cool. together nice um why'd you, you say know, it like that they were a thing they were a thing at one point adam i can uh always get back to that <laughs> it was a beta it was a beta buster test <laughs> it was uh, a beta buster yeah test. look i got, I got sweatpants and, uh, yeah i get it but 2026 my friend that's when you'll get them <laughs> all right so uh, yeah. that's where that's where we're at so join us tomorrow night then we're going to be after that show, I got to jump straight over to Whispers, Whispers Within, and Whispers. you'll you'll see dueling tarot reading. Yeah, happening. you've got Twisted Tarot with me, and then you'll have Danny with her much kinder version of a tarot reading. So I don't know. Rob's how else switching the chicks up. He's going to start doing a a show with different chicks every night of the week. Who? Me? You. <laughs> I don't call them chicks. Oh yeah, we got in trouble for that one. I yeah. I wrote a post. Yeah, see, by a woman. I I wrote I wrote a post uh, about Danny and I. I think going on a show, and I was like, "Come out, hang out with the chicks of Get Haunted," and oh, that caused some issues. <laughs> it was like, oh oh, wait, well, yeah, I'm a chick. I'm okay with that. I'm I own. You're gonna have to remind me later who that was. I can't remember. Oh, I think I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's it's my age coming out. Like, oh Yo, man, where's yeah. where's all the chicks? That's right. And here's another cool chick. You know, Emmy Ooh. from PDX Paranormal. We love our chicks. And uh, check us out. I think on Friday with Emmy and PDX Paranormal, 9 p.m. Eastern time. I love that. Uh, it did backfire, Chris Mack. Um, yeah. So don't forget, 5 p.m. Eastern time, We Woo Wednesday. Go check out Emmy and. J Mac, you're gonna want to go check them out. Uh, get maybe a free coffee card. I don't know. Get yourself some positivity in yeah. your life. Get go an do injection that. of the positivity. Yeah, yeah. Um, see, there's a chick. Diane's a chick. She gets it. She's, She's a chick, chick too. I think I'm gonna make. You know what? That's gonna be the next paranormal, paranormally blonde shirt. Maybe we'll do something with chicks. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, get ready. Jenny's got a question. Uh, we believe so, Jenny. We just we're gonna we're gonna do a little quick test run with them uh, and make sure that they're ready to take the controls. Yeah, yeah. 
So if you don't know, Seekers of the Supernatural podcast, Dan Rivera, Chris, Wade, Tony Spira, coming to you on the Get Haunted Paranormal podcast program. Guess what? Another perspective thrown into the pot for you guys to add Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Check it out. Um, of course, of course. Oh, Jess is a chick, too. See, we're all good with this. We're good being chicks, right? Okay. Good well, chicks. we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. I'll be canceled. <laughs> I'll be canceled and I'll have to stop doing oh, the but, strong yeah. feminine spotlight. <laughs> I should have been canceled for two years. <laughs> That's right. You should have. I've been saying it, Rob. You've been saying it for. Oh, I've been saying that for two years. To cancel this. I've been guy. saying that for two years, and it's not a good look, Rob. <laughs> it's not, it's a, not good a good look. look. It's not a good look. Wow. Um. So with that, yeah. See, Amanda's good with a chick too. <clears throat> Thank you, my fellow chicks. Um. With that, <laughs> are you you safe? You doing okay? Over I don't there know. With it's like it's really coming down, but yeah. We're excited for you, Wade. Like, seriously, oh cannot wait for you boys to get on here and do your thing. And um, I think it's going to be really good. I think you're going to get a lot of interaction. I think this is a great opportunity for so many people to meet you. Um, if you didn't get to meet them in person at the first Devils on the Run tour at the Haunted Shanley with, with Get Haunted, I'm going to tell you something. Um you need to meet people for yourself. You need to hear things out of their mouth. You need to understand and feel their intent. Um, it makes such a big difference. Oh, yeah. um, make your own decisions. And you're going to love, I think you're going to love them. I just couldn't have felt more welcomed. And um, I don't even know how to explain it. It was such an amazing week. I didn't have an expectation because I try not to do that. Um, as my Buddhist practice would have me work on. But there is something, there was something so real about hanging out with those guys, just having those moments. We did get to have that amazing opportunity of having lunch with them and having this moment of family gathering. Um, but boy, you really do yourself a disservice if you listen to the bullshit out there on social media. Um, meet these boys for the first time if you haven't. This coming Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time, right here on the Get Haunted main page, you will see their first podcast, Seekers of the Supernatural. So check them out. Check them out. <laughs> Stop it, Adam. I'm not allowed, remember? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Joe, oh, that was an update I received. Um, the three men that were being hunted that night for the shooting that we just missed um, were not the three men. And it is, or so it appears, that approached the car, which was. That's a good. good thing. Yeah. And check out Ask Stacy stuff tomorrow night, Thursday night. Uh... Yeah. We have to talk about that, Stacy. <laughs> there might be too much in between. I don't know if we're going to be able to make that work. We'll talk. Uh, yeah. We'll talk. We'll talk, Stacy. We'll talk. Um, so, yeah, with that, it's been an hour and 15. We should let everybody get back. Yeah, we got to let everybody go. I got to go eat something. <laughs> yeah. We love this. She's a cult chick. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. That could be like, I kind of like that. Wait CCM. a minute. PCCM. We might have to talk about this, Emmy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you guys, this is Wednesday. This is hump day. This is your midweek, midday check-in with Get Haunted. We see you. We see you. We appreciate you. And oh my God, do we love you. Seriously, thank you for making the network an amazing success. It couldn't have done it without each and every one of you. Um, thank you for your motivation, your encouragement, your inspiration. We look forward to creating some more things with you. Um, and with that, I don't know, check us out tomorrow night, 7 p.m. for more updates on the Supernatural Soiree. Check us out Friday with PDX Paranormal. Who knows what's going to happen? We don't <laughs> even know. Emmy yeah, and us either. together, this might be crazy. This might just be pure craziness. But good crazy. So come join in if you want. And with that, uh, we're going to get Rob back to work and a beautiful puzzle piece. I agree, Diane, right there. So with that, we're going to let you guys get back to work. We're going to get back to work and stay tuned for the first spotlight of strong feminine energy coming at just very soon. So with that, Rob, what do we like to say? Peace. Peace. Yeah. You always uh, say peace and you always cover your oh, yeah. camera. Peace out. Because yeah. I have a hard time saying goodbye. I can't disconnect. Okay. All right. We're out of here. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. We love you. <laughs>